these are the items that are required for the initial Invisalign appointment. We have the patient's templates, as you can see here. Very similar to the aligners that they will be starting today. We're going to be using some etch on the teeth. There's no needles involved, even though these might look like a needle, they're not. We're going to be using a one-step primer. We have our special Tetric glue. Dr. Venditelli will be doing some interproximal reduction slightly in between the teeth. Now that the teeth are nice and clean, we're just going to lightly blow some air on the teeth and we're going to insert the tray without any of the glue inside. We just want to make sure this fits nice. So we're just going to line it up and we're going to press down everywhere on the biting surface of the teeth. Really make sure we seat this tray. The tray fits excellent. So we'll remove the tray and now we're ready to start bonding the tiny attachments. Try the bottom tray on. Blow dry all the teeth. Clear out any saliva. Try the tray on. We're going to press down everywhere on the biting surface of the teeth. Make sure the tray fits perfectly. And it does. Excellent. We'll remove the tray and we'll get the tray set up for the glue for the attachment bonding. The first step in attaching the bonded attachments, we're going to use this cheek prop. So we're going to use this. This is just going to stretch the cheeks slightly apart just to keep the teeth nice and dry. We don't want to have any saliva contamination. So now we're going to place the etch on the teeth in the place where we're going to be bonding those little attachments. So we're going to paint the teeth with the etch. Now this gel will sit on the teeth for around 30 seconds. Just make sure that all areas are covered. So now that the gel has been sitting on the teeth, we're now going to rinse it with water. Once all the gel has been rinsed off the teeth, we want to make sure the teeth are nice and dry. So from this point forward, we want to keep them nice and dry. I'm just going to blow air everywhere on the tooth. So now we're going to apply the one step primer to the teeth. We're painting all the teeth where we're putting those attachments on. And we're going to start loading the tray. So now that all the glue has been put into the template, we're now going to insert the template on the teeth and we're gonna cure it with the light. So we're gonna make sure this is fully seated, push down everywhere on the biting surface of the teeth and we'll now start to cure the glue. We'll give each tooth a good 10 second cure. Once all the glue has been hardened, we're now going to remove the tray. We're gonna lift it up gently. I just feel a little bit of pressure here. And we'll just remove it like that. And as you can see, the tooth colored bumps are now on the teeth. There's a little bit of extra glue we call flash. And I'm just going to lightly take the instrument and I'm just going to clean up just a little bit around there. So we're ready to insert the top aligner, top tray. All the glue is put into the attachments and we're just gonna insert the tray. We wanna make sure it's a great fit pushing down everywhere on the biting surface of the teeth. And 
then we're gonna take our light and we're gonna harden all the glue. So we're hardening the glue with about a 10 second cure on each one. Okay, so now that we've cured all the top attachments, we're going to remove the tray. I'm just gently gonna lift it up. And all the attachments are placed. So once all the attachments have been placed and we've cleaned up the glue, we're just gonna take some floss and just make sure all the contacts are free. So no glue is seeped in between. Voila, the attachments have been placed.